guys what's up welcome back to another borderlands 3 video and today what we're going to be going over is possibly the best uh, melon pistol in the entire game oh uh, it is a dlc weapon now that is going to be none other than the good old beacon from bounty of blood dlc 3 it's basically like an upgraded health shock except whenever you reload you release an aoe explosion um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna be running a old god here. We got a beautiful level 65 old god. Uh, you love to see it, love to see it. Uh, we're gonna be running with our CMTs as well. Uh, our pearl, you already know, we already know. Uh, max size and fire rate, really, really good. Uh, and then we're actually gonna be using a minesweeper. Now, I wish I, I wish I had one with uh, more to find the skag den. But this one we'll just have to do. It has pretty decent passes on it, so uh, we will run with it. Plus, you got the one to redistribution as well, which is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, farm for it, uh, the dedicated drop is Jerick Logan in the Blood Sun Canyon uh, on Geneva. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our setup real quick. Here we are. Here's our demolition woman tree. Very simple, very simple. We only have one grizzle, but uh, we'll be okay. Uh, everything else is pretty much uh, self explanatory. There's our shield retribution tree, same old, same old tr uh, tree that I uh, run the most these days. And then our bottomless max tree. Very simple. Anyways, guys, with that being said, uh, if you guys have been enjoying the content recently, make sure to go ahead and uh, subscribe because uh, you know, we are on the road to 5,000 subs. Try and hit that by the end of the year, so you know what I'm saying? If you like Daily Borderlands 3, and uh, subscribe yet you should totally uh, do that so i'm sorry help, help you boy out all right anyways let's go ahead and get right into the video all right y'all so now that we are in the uh, guardian takedown we're gonna be going ahead and uh, blasting away everything uh yeah we're gonna be down ourselves a lot throughout this video using the minesweeper uh, i was trying to use the blast master but uh we just reload a little bit too much with this thing because we are using a times two variant but it's like 19,000 base damage times two which is insane so we are going to be hopping in and out of bear pretty consistently but at least uh, w with this gun, you do want to reload, so I guess not having this thing uh, be bottomless mags, infinity type shot, is actually good because we can actually make use of the perk. So uh, that's actually a good thing. But uh, yeah, this gun, uh, whenever it was first introduced, it was very popular. Uh, I did an initial showcase and I was actually really like impressed by it. And then I haven't really played with it too, too much since. Because dude, there's just so much like, there's so many guns in this game to use and test and play around with, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, do you look, you're seeing this thing and it's just completely putting everything down. Like, it's a Hell Shock, but better. Like, the Hell Shock is a, such a good gun and it's, like, vanilla. So, like, every player can get it, which is very, very awesome. But this gun is just better. And that's because it's, it's in DLC 3. And, like, dude, so many guns in DLC 3 were insane. Like, so many. I really, it, dude, DLC 5 with the new mode and stuff, that's going to be so insane. I really can't wait to see the power creep for those weapons. Because, like, DLC 3 weapons, I don't know how they're going to make content that's, like, going to make a flipper mode not be able to, like, dump all over it, you know? Like, that is the by far the most meta build ever, is just running a flipper on Moe's. <laughs> like, dude, I try to, like, I have one build with the flipper, and then I don't use the flipper for any other build because the flipper is just so br busted, bro. Like, it's so busted. <laughs> Anyways, though, guys, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and head over to the slaughter shaft, and, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all over there. All right, y'all, so... Oh, uh, we're back at it in the slaughter shaft, dealing with the enemies who have uh, nice buddy systems in the wall. Now, uh, these enemies low-key hit like a truck, and they're uh, kind of annoying to deal with sometimes. But uh, the beacon is, like, absolutely insane. Yeah, dude, the beacon's uh, pretty... Pretty good, just a little bit, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. 
Like the health shock is good, but this is just better. That's just because it's a DLC. And it's okay. It's okay. just cooking up everything. Oh my lord. We just sat down everything. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, yep. Let's head over to the Malawan takedown. Alright, fellas, so. Now we're in the Malawan takedown side of things. And, uh, our beacon's gonna go ahead and sit down everything casually. No fun when the Kraken has a freaking buddy system on it. It's no fun. I hate buddy system. Where's that buddy system at? I hope it's off of him. Now he's gonna get fried. Yeah, sit down. Screw your buddy system, bro. <laughs> Stand a chance. Nope. Not against our beacon, bro. Not against our powerful ass beacon. No way. Alright. So now we are at the bridge. Your old bridge. And uh, yeah, dude, we're gonna just go ahead and sit down everything with our beautiful beacon, including ourselves, because you know, Minesweeper. We have a lot of the Torch Crush motion. It's all good. Yo, that was a huge whiff on my hammer downs. Whoops. Dude, the beacon is so overpowered. like touches the death spheres they and like instantly die. Sorry Wardog, you had to sit down. Everything dude. Dude the minesweeper is the definition of a bullet sword. Like, literally, you're killing some of the enemies you're not even, like, looking at. Alright, let's go ahead and visit Wotan now. Alright, so, we are now at Wotan. 
And uh, yeah, we're just gonna rock the radiation throughout the whole fight, it'll be okay. We'll just brute force our way through his health. Goodness gracious, yep. Let me actually fucking not be trash and hit him. Let's go. All right, wow, that was pretty awesome. Okay. Did we get the brain? I think we got the brain. Oh, no, we didn't. Look at his sorry ass. All right, I'm just gonna snipe him real quick. Skadoosh. All right. Let's go ahead and go over our setup real quick. One last time. Here's the overpowered beacon. You gotta love that good old consecut. Uh, here's the old gun that we used. Very, very solid. Very, very solid. Our minesweeper with uh, four in a George Cross promotion. We wish some of that was in too far in the Skagden. And the one in redistribution, which is solid. Splash damage, damage, damage radius, and weapon damage, and then our pro with mag size and fire rate, and then our beautiful CMT. Uh, here is our loadout with bottomless mags, our demolition woman tree. Uh, these two are pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple, pretty basic trees. Uh, then here is uh, once again our demolition woman tree, and then here is our shield retribution, just max out drowning and brass and experimental munitions, radiation and fire damage completely shreds. Uh, anyways, though, guys, hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you are new. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And yeah, my name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.